yeah 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 so guys 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 how you doing i hope you're doing fine wherever you're watching me from i love you so much always know that and thank you for always watching sharing my videos and subscribing in case you haven't kindly do so subscribe share yeah like and uh, don't forget to leave a sweet sweet comment that is so encouraging guys i'm coming live from africa africa uganda specifically and guys this is what is happening this is how uh, africa looks so beautiful the weather is so amazing uh it's so 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 amazing it's shining at the same time it's a little bit warm so yeah that's Africa for us and Uganda actually is located in East Africa if in case you don't know where Uganda is located it's a very beautiful country it's a part of Africa gifted with nature <laughs> and we have a lot of green bananas here every kind of matoke or bananas you find it here in Uganda it's a beautiful country with beautiful sceneries that's why actually it is called the Pearl of Africa and um, so today guys I wanted to uh, there's something I discovered recently and I felt like ah why not share with you my family on YouTube yeah and let me let you know guys um, I have been yeah life has been easy here everything very easy but every day things keep changing like the prices of things uh, when you talk of investment hey it's very easy to invest here in Africa especially in Uganda you can when you have your money you can invest but of course you know as time goes on uh, the prices of things keep going high and higher because of the uh, the currency the the, the, the money exchange eh? <laughs> yeah yeah so it's actually better if you want to invest you invest now so yeah the title of this video is invest in africa before it's too late <laughs> yeah invest in africa in fact all over the world it's good to invest now before it's late before it gets late because every day every day is different every day things change every day the money value goes high the prices of things go high so it's good to invest by the way now that is for sure if you have some money please instead of wasting it invest it invest it tomorrow you won't regret especially if you invest it in the like uh, stuff like land like assets you won't won't ever ever regret that so kindly do so guys why am i saying this when you invest today you find the prices of things are high especially like land and all the, the prices are low especially like land you could buy it at let's say like uh, five thousand dollars and tomorrow you wake up you find it at ten thousand twenty thousand so the prices actually keep going high because of the economy the money the value so yeah yeah so it's very important if you want to do something please you do it today so why not come to africa and invest and yeah the price the things are actually the uh, if you talk of land houses right now things are affordable the prices are affordable but i know as time goes on like in future the prices will really be going high and yeah the, those who can afford will be able to buy but if you have your little money you can invest it in a property now and then in the future you want to sell it you sell it at a high price and actually it is easy to acquire anything here in africa in case you want to buy like land like houses yeah you find them at a very very cheap price but of course you know uh the prices like i say keep changing you could find it at like uh let's say uh two thousand dollars today but tomorrow you find it a little bit higher so it's better to invest now you have your little money invest it now because sometimes i know 
you may have some money and maybe on a in developed world like UK or uh, USA or Netherlands, you can't buy, literally buy nothing with that money, let's say like $2,000 you can't buy land. But when you come here in Uganda, you can, you can get land of that price, eh? you can get that, uh, the land of that price and land doesn't lose value it keeps appreciating so tomorrow when you wake up you find your land when it has appreciated and you're able to sell it at a little more more, more money like you get more profit if you want to sell it because uh, prices keep developing like people are being born every day the preparation is high so people getting money and buying so you, you when you buy something even if you buy it like uh, in a place that is not developed yet eventually the place develops and you get back your money in case you want to sell it in case you want to construct it just becomes very easy and also the roads sometimes those places the roads are not yet there but eventually they construct the roads there and guess what when they construct roads in such places, that's where you find uh, those properties becoming pretty, pretty expensive. So guys, please invest, come and invest in Africa. They, uh, it is very affordable. It is still very easy. You can invest now and tomorrow you live like a rich, a rich girl, a rich boy, a rich guy. It's very easy to make money here. You can start up any business you want. You can buy any properties you want. And you want to buy a house, you want to buy land. It's pretty easy. You can start any business you want. It's very, very easy. So why not come and invest now? Now, now. Yeah, come and invest in Africa. There are a lot of things you can start up here. There are a lot of things you can do with your little money you don't need a lot of money here you know rent is not affordable like you want to start up something it's very easy as long as you have some money to begin with you can start something and at the same time employ people the labor is cheap because um uh, because of the way of life the standard of living uh, we uh, in africa we, most people, they have their own places, so, yeah, and also, labor is cheap here because we don't have a minimum wage, uh, so, guys, come and invest in Africa. Okay, when you compare the, the labor here and in the diaspora, here in Africa, it is really affordable. Yeah, you can hire anybody and pay them easily, yeah. Because even uh, the businesses really do pretty well here in Africa. So why not come and invest now, guys? In our motherland, Africa, yeah, very easy, very easy. The procedures are not long, as long as you have money, yeah. What you need is money and then you're good to go. You just start up something. Guys, you see the environment? You see? See the... This place, uh, some time back, it used to be a bush, but today, it's a town, guys. It's one of uh, uh, the areas in the Wakiso district. Namgongo, yeah. Wakiso district, eh? yeah. So kindly come to Africa. Enjoy the weather, enjoy the organic food. Yeah, we have plenty of land that you can own for yourself. Yeah, if you want to sell it, let's say you feel like you don't want to stay here longer, you can still sell it out to the little potential people can buy it and then you just fly and go if you want to stay for good because, guys, I know if you come to Africa, you don't even want to leave. You can't leave. Most people when they come here, they don't want to leave. They just come and locate for good and come and stay here 
and they do their businesses and everything. That's all I know. But I'm just saying for anyone who maybe would feel like, hey, if I go to an, if I go and invest in Uganda, <laughs> how will I leave Uganda again yet I've put my business? It is very easy. You can still sell your business, you can still sell your land, or you sell whatever you've invested and relocate to any other place you like or yeah but again i know it's not easy to leave once you come here with the beautiful weather we have guys look at those are yellow bananas and they're small small bananas yeah very very sweet and yeah very very affordable yeah you don't find things here expensive guys you cannot uh you can't find them expensive. Yeah, so this is a place that used to be a bush, guys, imagine. And whoever got land in this place by then, of course, got a very little money. You find people would buy like a $300, uh, $500, $1,000. But now, guys, if you want to get like a place here, hey, you must have like $150,000. $150, or even two hundred thousand dollars now just buying land here is not easy but those days that's why i'm saying that if you want to invest in africa do it now yeah you can invest and you can put your you can buy your your investments you can buy land or whatever you do here and then like let it flow pray to god and be like like, like just start and forget about it and then tomorrow you live like a king <laughs> that's all i can tell you yeah because guys in case you start up any business or like you buy land or you buy a house or like a real estate it's not that you have to keep thinking about it you just buy and forget it do other things then tomorrow it can be your save it can save you in case you like in case you need a lot of money to do something or in case you feel like you want to sell it it's very easy to sell yeah so like i told you the place is like a, a town now you see people have both most of these people by the way they stay uh, outside uganda some of them they come and have uh, they buy land here they keep it then they come and build then after they go so they come here during vacation or maybe some people build these homes for retirement after they have worked and they've retired they just come and find their homes here and rest and enjoy life here with the good weather here in Africa Africa this is Uganda <laughs> yeah yeah so guys I think this is a school over there look at that that's a school someone put a uh, build a school there by the way guys you, you see that person may even be not from here. You can just build a school, put your workers, like people who are trusted, and your business will run when you're not even there. So it's very easy to, to have an investment here. You don't have to be around. You just put a trusted team and they'll run your investment or your business, and you're good to go. Yeah. I know there are so many people out there who have the money, but the money is little, like you look at like $2,000 and you're like, hey, this little money, I can't even buy in land here in the diaspora or you can't buy a house, you can't buy anything. The only thing you can do is just to spend it. No, you can bring it here in Uganda or any uh, country in Africa and buy some investment, buy, buy, you can even buy assets and forget about it buy and keep them like you buy and leave it then after some years when you come back you'll find when that asset has appreciated and you get a lot of money i don't know how much because just even like one year or two years you buy it like two thousand dollars your assets will have appreciated like more than double yeah so that's all i know so it's good to invest now because tomorrow if you want like to buy land again the prices will be a little bit high yeah because right now i know in the villages there used to be land of uh, even a hundred dollars but today you can't find it 
so today you find it like at around let's say uh yeah one thousand dollars you can get land but without a title but again in the village deep in the village but just imagine guys after some years you'll find that you cannot even get that land again for one thousand dollars it will be at a little bit higher price because people are, every day people are investing, people are building, people are developing. So that's why you have to do it now. Now, now is the time you have to start. In case you want to invest in Africa, do it now. You see guys, this place I used to come this way. It used to be a bush. These houses they would never used to be there, no. But there look. Yeah. So Hey, so guys, guys, someone is telling me that he was also not there, but anyway, let's just proceed. You see, you can see the avocado trees. Yeah, so you can still have your own, you can have land, you can, you can buy land and also plant trees or vanilla and just leave it there and travel back wherever you want. I, trust me, you'll find it there whenever. You come back, no one will tamper with it. You, it can really save you in case, in case, in case, in case you are in a situation that you need some money to help you out. You can really get saved with that kind of property, and again get a lot of profit and also buy more or another profit party or that money can really help you a lot. So in case you want to invest, guys, I keep telling you the same word: invest now before it's too late before it's too late because when it gets too late even in the village you won't be able to get land, land that is that you can afford yeah because keep people i mean things keep changing there are people who ha actually even people in diaspora by the way they're buying more more properties here that's why i said let me address this issue to my beautiful family here on youtube so they can know in case anyone is interested in coming to Uganda to invest, you're welcome. You're very, very much welcome. Guys, this place is so beautiful. Look at that. These are shops. This is how we build shops here in Uganda. And this place never used to be here at the time I came to this place. So the place is looking like a city now. Super, super beautiful. Guys, I want to turn the camera and show you what is in front there. Uh, it's amazing it's amazing so i'm gonna show you just shortly let me turn the camera and show you guys hey that's the area that's the village this is the village it used to be a pure pure village pure village but now it's turning into a city guys in, in africa there is no area that doesn't develop you can buy land in the bush <laughs> or you can invest anything anywhere as long as it is having a good location that place will grow for sure that's all i can tell you because the place itself like i told you they used to be like a bush but today look at that yeah they are building roads everywhere they are, look at that poster that is somebody's house imagine so when we go here we see the place is so beautiful yeah so in case you want to invest guys kindly invest your money here today you feel like you have a lot of money or you have little money even if you have a lot of money you can buy a lot of properties here and tomorrow they will have appreciated let me tell you just one year you will thank me you'll be like hey jay thank you for giving us this advice and we are grateful i'm sure you'll tell me that you'll thank me later let me put it that way so this place is to be a pure village see pure village but today look at that super super beautiful with amazing houses and don't think that everybody stays here most people are staying outside in the diaspora but they're having these beautiful structures here so whenever they come to like uganda they don't have to rent or go for airbnb they just stay in their houses in their beautiful 
houses, enjoy the beautiful weather, the beautiful food. And some of them even have gardens, kitchen gardens around the houses. So it's just enjoying. And when the time reaches for them to travel back to the diaspora, they don't even want to go back. <laughs> but because they have to go and work, they go and come back another time when they get their off days or when they are free. So, yeah, yeah. You can also have estates and rent out to people, like there are people who want to rent. There are people who want to to rent and and like like other people most some some people don't want to build houses. Some people love to rent. So, so you can you can still guys yes, you can still have like rentals and earn some good good money out of your rentals. Like you buy land and put some rentals, put houses for people to rent, you see? See guys, look at that. Those pretty, pretty houses. Guys, this place used to be a bush. I can't believe. When you look at these houses, you may, you may think that they have been there for a long, long time. No, these houses, they were just built. This place was a bush just yesterday. Yeah, that's a church over there. Yeah. They were built, built yesterday. A lot of development, people building. Uh, some of these are rentals. You want to rent, you just come and and uh, get yourself one house and pay and sleep in it. As long as you pay, you will sleep the way you want. Yeah. So you see those beautiful structures over there? Look at that, guys. So those are investments. Some of those houses the owners are not in. Some of the houses the owners are in. But you see, when you come to Uganda, you just enter your house and enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy the fresh air, the fresh breeze, enjoy everything. Yeah, that's how it is. In case you want to invest uh, here, you are welcome. You are welcome. It doesn't matter how much you have. Like I say, if you don't have enough money, you can go and buy. You can buy, you can get a land still and... Um, you can still get a land that, that suits you, yeah. You can get land that suits you, yeah. Slurry, slurry, slurry. You, they, actually, they don't even build, like, quick. You build slurry your house, and before uh, you know it, you are there. I used to go that side, see that place? There's a church there. So I'm not going to go there. But this place is so, so well developed. It used to be... A bush so in case you find land somewhere just buy 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 don't say this is a, a bush or this place is not nice just buy tomorrow because you can't know what tomorrow will bring tomorrow that place would will, 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 will help you like that place will devolve you know anything to do with land it appreciates at least every day every day every day as long as you buy it, you have invested. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Like I said, if you want to invest in Africa, invest now, now, now. It doesn't matter how much you have. Even if you have like one thousand dollars, like I told you, you can always get land here. You can get land of that money, and then after you process your title, yeah, because that land of like one thousand dollars. Definitely they can't give you a title, but the title starts from 1,000 and above at least. But also, like, it depends on the location, eh? but to me, I, um, to me, my opinion is location doesn't matter. In case you get land anywhere, they tell you to pay for it as long as, long as it is genuine, buy it, buy it, buy it. And if you want to start up a real estate, you can still start it up like in a, a place that is not developed. But tomorrow, uh, you 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 that you have money to build, you build those uh, rentals. I can assure you, the development will find you wherever you are because yeah, yeah, land, especially land, land appreciates uh, every day. Guys, why am I talking about land, land, land? It's because 
it's the only investment you can put in your money and you know it's gonna appreciate or like real estate yeah yes so guys i'm ending the video thank you for watching i wanted to share with you this wisdom and i'm glad you you have watched to to the end thank you for watching kindly don't forget to subscribe subscribe share like don't forget to watch the ads that's the only way you can support me thank you so much may god bless you back i love you bye <laughs> guys we also have carrots here you see you see that is careless over there yeah so this is Uganda, the part of Africa. Thank you guys. <laughs>